We still got a heck of a win. There goes the hat. Seasonal forecasts predicted the tropics would be busy, but it's definitely been a 2020 kind of a hurricane season. I don't think anybody could have predicted that we'd see the high number that we ended up getting at record levels. We're gusting up to 96 miles an hour. It's not just about how busy the season is. It's about how bad. With all the landfall, this has been a very bad hurricane season. We still have this strong wind. Many of those landfalls ended up in the Gulf of Mexico. A big ridge of high pressure over the western Atlantic, a trough in the central U.S. Those two ingredients sort of allowed tropical systems to have trap doors out of the Caribbean and the western tropical Atlantic into the Gulf of Mexico, ultimately leading to a lot of landfalls. All targeting the same area. It is a remarkable statistic that we had six named storms come ashore between the Florida-Alabama border and the Texas-Louisiana border. Six named storms, five of those making landfall in Louisiana, three of those Louisiana hurricanes. But the term of the season, rapid intensification. Rapid intensification. Rapid intensification. We saw so many of them strengthen very quickly on final approach to land and crossing the coast, which made it all so much more dangerous. Do we really know why rapid intensification occurs either right before landfall or out over the middle of the Gulf? No, but we do know that either scenario is bad. Climate change just may be playing a role in what we're seeing. I'm concerned that hurricane season could be getting longer and the time frame in which major hurricanes can occur could be getting longer. And then the other big concern I have that we've seen a lot of recently that is something that a changing climate appears to be doing to hurricanes is the forward motion of many of these storms slowing down. It's unclear how climate change is gonna change the overall frequency of tropical development during the seasons, but what we think it's doing is allowing for stronger tropical cyclones to develop. And there's always lessons to be learned. I think we learned once again the hard way that water is such a significant part of what makes hurricanes and tropical storms so dangerous and often deadly. It taught us to be humble. We may think we know how a system is gonna behave, but in the final 12 or 24 hours, 2020 has shown us that surprises can be thrown all over and over again. I think we're gonna be ready for some of those surprises in the future.